candy yam. I'm laying in the bed, sleep. Next thing I know, I got a yam going up my leg. Wait, what? All right. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. It's dry as hell in there. Why is it so quiet? She walked in that courtroom, not a noise, not a peep, not a cough. That's quiet. I have before me Rhonda Dunwood and Mark Ridley. The two of you what is her have been present. What is this hairstyle? Do y'all like that? The two of you Why have been like together that? for three years. You are not currently living together. You are considering whether or not you should get married. In fact, you have given me your marriage license and have given me permission to either return it to you should I think that marriage is something you should do or to tear it up if I feel that is ill-advised. Come on, judges got that much control? She could tear up their marriage license? She could control their relationship? She got a mullet in the front. I'm here because of his insecurities. Okay. We, like you say, we don't live together. Yes. I choose not to live with Mark. Mark, you know I love you. Yeah. But I choose not to live with him because of my moral she values. She got a mullet. I love you, dear. But Mark has gone to church with me. Of course, you know, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, we all embrace one another. Mark wants to accuse me of, doing what? of the men in the church. They embrace me harder mm -hmm. and longer than they embrace, they embrace the other, other sisters. Yes. So there must be something going on exactly. between you. And he's claiming that's part of the reason why I don't want to move in with him because of issues like that, which is not true. And this is what I'm trying to get him to believe. His insecurities, you know, Mark has a tendency. When we kind of do our do, Mark wants to take it to a different level, a higher level. How's that insecure? A part of him. Ms. Ms. Dunwood, whether you two get married or not, no matter what happens, I respect you for yeah, that. Thank I you. I think that, you know. Thank you. Some of us women got run over by the sexual revolution. Hello? It, 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 it became a thing that was expected and constant, and it, it, it became too available. And the next thing you know, we out there alone, That's hollering at the baby about. daddy, please give me some money, yes. all yes. of that. So yes. I respect yes. that. Yes. Thank, yes. thank exactly. you for that. Exactly. But see, one of the ways that he tries to Break learn me, down. for instance, once we share our fun, oh, uh -huh. Heavenly Father, once we share <laughs> our fun, um, then, you know, this is what he does. Okay, I'm cleaned up, I'm showered, I want to go to sleep. Let me start. What the fuck is he posing over there like that? What is this? Why is he standing like that? He look like a freak. What is up with this guy? Our day, uh -huh. the next day. The Judge like needs to stop empowering this lunch lady and start judging. Mr. 4K MF respectfully, bald. Shut up, man. Y'all just be talking. She is a wholesome young lady that not just sleeping around with a lot of men. She saving herself for marriage and you mad at her for that. Shut up. He wants to bring like, when I'm asleep, he wants to bring like potato salad to bed. He wants to put it on my back. Next thing I know, he's licking it off my back. He's it off me, okay? He love candy yams. I'm laying in the bed, sleep. Next thing I know, I got a yam going up my leg, and he, gr he grudging all up on it. You know, he all over my leg with a booted candy yam. This is what I'm trying to talk to him about. These are things with him, and see, as far as our issues are concerned, now I got to get up again and go shower all over again. I love him, I love sharing, but he takes it to a whole different Miss, extreme. Mr. Ridley, are you bringing a buffet to bed? Wait, what? That don't even make sense of a story. They do the nasty and he gets some food and put she it on- She too old to be a young lady and why he having Thanksgiving on her back. What is going on? Why? Why would she be sleeping and he feel the need to put food on her and eat it off? That don't even- he a perv or something. That's- that's freaky. I am the kind of man that's very, very, um, sexually pervasive with her. I mean, look at her, she's beautiful. We have a great time. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Sexually pervasive. To be considered pervasive, the harassing conduct must be sufficient. Harassing? Why use that word? Why did he use that word? Why did he use this word? The only definitions is showing us is harassment and pervasive conduct is something that alter conditions of employment or is a hostile abusive work environment why do he use a word that's bad when he talk about how he is as a lover what's up with this guy wait i need to hear that again <laughs> well your honor i have uh, i am the kind of man that's very 
very um, sexually pervasive with her. I mean, look at her, she's beautiful. We have a great time. But candied yams? No. Come on now, tell me. A little honey, honey, maybe. A little honey. Uh, honey. But not candied yams. So you're just talking food selection, not necessarily. Yeah, you know, a little bit something to have some fun with. You know, I mean, Mm -hmm. we're talking with a lady that's very, very uh, vocally herself in bed, but she chooses what she'll do and what she won't do. I mean, she's not sexually adventurous Uh the way she should be. Not till after the vows, sweetheart. Yeah. Not till after see, the vows. Now, see, but I'll try to help her about that. I say, listen, she wants the cow, but she doesn't want to do the milk. No, no, no. Let me tell you Absolutely. how unfaithful yeah. he is, okay? Unfaithful? Now, my mom, my mom lives a good five hours or so away. I drive and visit my mom, take care of some business out in Oakland. I'm at my mom's house. Yeah. St- stand up there, her big picture window. Who I see drive by? <laughs> Am I stunned? It's Mark. Yo, and I'm a businessman. My travel and my work takes me everywhere. Just happened to be on my mom's block. And I just happened to be there because she had not called me, told me that she had arrived at the place here. So I, being the nice, good, significant other that I should be, said, well, you know what? I'm in the city. I'll swing by. See, this is why we have issues. Let me tell and you what good. he did. He parked thing. the car, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. I sat there in my mom's house and I watched him for hours in that car. Just sitting there. Just, he's just sitting there. So you know what I did? I got my mom's car. I went around the back way. I rolled up on him. And now let me tell you what happened when I rolled up on him. I go to the, his window. He rolls it down. I said, Mark, what you doing here? He says, I, 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 you know, he, he was this trying to tell me this is what he claimed. He I was trying her. to say, he said he was trying to say, I just came to surprise I you. I came, surprised her. What did he just kitchen. say? But, but you had been sitting out what there for hours. What did he just say? I couldn't be sitting there for seven hours because she would have to sit there for seven hours to know that. I, I got just to my mom's house day before I saw the morning. house. I came around the corner. I hugged her and kissed her and supported her endeavors. And, uh... Miss, Mr. Ridley, so she's... Yo, he is a... It's something weird about this guy. The way he talks is, is kind of professional. It's kind of creepy at the same time. I really don't like the way that he's delivering this material. He a freak, a weirdo. He's a weirdo. It's so obvious. I kissed her and supported her endeavors. How she with this guy? How she not creeped out by his demeanor, his delivery, his conversation, the way he acting, sitting outside your mom's house for several hours, and you with a guy that's moving like that? He's so creepy. But I need you to tell me why you believe she might be the woman of your dreams. Because we do have fun. In spite of all this, and in spite of what she says, you know, which they're not really true. I know it's made up. A little bit in our head, but I'll deal with that. Um, we do have a good time. Okay. And I respect her. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's beautiful. Okay. And I believe that she could possibly be it if she comes off some of those old antiquated ways. That was the saddest. This is why I Thank love. You. Yeah, that was weird. He just want to have fun. Chat. Would you marry a girl if you could have fun with her? His reasoning for wanting to marry her was weird. She beautiful. She fun. He ain't really getting no good qualities in a lifelong partner. He ain't talking about nothing. His little eating ass. Wanna be out here eating mashed potatoes off the butt. He don't really, he ain't really giving no good details as to why he wanna be with this girl long term. That don't make sense. Her, I've heard in quite some time Thank and I've heard you. some sad heard. ones here. I'm Your answer heard. was generic. Well, I do care I'm gonna give you another chance. Okay, okay. thank you. Uh, 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 now one more time. One more game. Why her? Oh, she makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I love looking at her. She's, uh, this boy, I'm a, Chad keeps saying let him cook. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm pause the video and listen. But if he say some more dumb shit, I don't know what I'm gonna do, bro. A very passionate person. And as I say, we do have fun. And I believe deep down she's very moral and she's spiritually connected. Do you love her? she religious? Yes, I love her. You know, I do. But I, I know I haven't pushed it to that degree because of the reservations. And I, she has to respect it for me. Those are my decisions. She wanted to move in. I said, no, no. Oh, Mark. No, no, no. These Claire and fucking Bill Huxtable, goofy ass couple, they 59 years old. Sitting here going back and forth like they young whippersnappers in the dating world. If y'all don't stop playing and, and settle down, don't y'all got some kids somewhere? We not gonna sit and act like these two not 60 years old carrying on like a couple high schoolers. 
talking about she not moving in. You're literally about to marry her. You've been with her for three years. Why don't y'all live together? Talking about what you like about her. Well, we can having fun together. What are you talking about? You a grown-ass, old-ass man. Only reason you can explain why you like the girls because she had fun with you and she nice to look at. They goofy, bro. The only thing that I will say at this point is our sexual preferences. That's the only mishap that we really do have right now. Besides the fact that he feels as though he what can... What in the world? Girl, if I could get her to just to play uh, you let, me, let, me, let me show you what I like her to do. See, Since you talk about this is print. what I'm up against. He loves to play Batman. Let her know. Right. <laughs> when he wants to get involved, this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> or oh, just a little fun he, having fun here with Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Rip the marriage paper up, Judge. Don't stick this young lady with this psycho. Don't do that. No, he crazy for real. He is really crazy. In the beginning, I thought you were funny. Now I just think you're weird. Yes! <laughs> and Hello! I don't know. <laughs> and it took y'all long enough. I don't know how deep the weird really goes. He was weird when he put the maple syrup, honey, barbecue sauce, the whoop, yeah, on her body when she sleep. If you doing that, do it while she woke and y'all doing y'all thing. How you wait till she wash up and go to bed for you to put more food on her body while she's sleeping? Now she got to wake up and clean herself again. That don't even make sense to me. Had he taken this a little more seriously, I might have been able to give you an answer. You but I can't do that at this time. I'm not going to tear up your license, but I am just going to walk off with it. This matter is adjourned. <laughs> oh. Did all that with no resolution to the... Basically, they right where they started. What was this couple's therapy? They ain't even resolve anything. What kind of judge is this?